Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, my name is Monica. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, today I wanted to share with you guys my winter everyday makeup routine. Um, I wanna just do like a chit chat type of style instead of like a voiceover because I feel like the voiceovers can get kind of like scripted and you can't like really see my personality or anything because I'm like just telling you guys what I'm doing. Um, so I wanna like chit chat through this so you guys can just follow along. Um, I have dry skin. Um, you can do this tutorial on yourself if you're like combo or oily, you'll just have to use more powders. Um, because I like to look nice and like dewy, fresh, glowy, skin-like. Um, so I don't use a ton of powders on myself. Um, so yeah, if you would like to see, then let's just get started. Um, I actually already moisturized before this video because I tried to film it already and it got messed up and stopped recording. So this was the moisturizer that I put on. Um, it's the best moisturizer in the world if you're dry. It's super thick and like just, it's almost like, um, it's almost like an emollient. So it gives you that like dewy, glowy look. Um, it's just really thick and hydrating and I love that. It's more of like a balm. And then this was the sunscreen that I use. This is the Tula um, Protect and Glow sunscreen. It makes you glowy. That's why I'm like so glowy right now. Um, it's from this product. Sorry about the blinds. Um, it's just what we're working with right now. So um, the Tula sunscreen is perfect. Okay, so we can actually get started on the makeup portion now. Um, sometimes I, I apply a vitamin C in the morning also. Um, I just did it today. It honestly kind of slipped my mind, so, you know, it's fine. I'm just clipping my hair back. If you don't have these clips, um, also, if you do your makeup a lot, um, they're from Amazon and they don't leave, like, any dents in your hair. They're, like, honestly really, really good. So, okay. Sorry, I have to be further back because if I go like this... You can't see me so let's get started so my favorite 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 product of all time is the um charlotte tilbury um hollywood flawless filter um when i explain this to people i don't even know how to explain what type of product this is um because it is like a like a glowy tint um it's not a foundation it's not like a tinted moisturizer um it it's so weird and it, it's like a highlighter but like i put it all over my face so i don't know it, it's very very weird if you haven't tried it yet though and you like to be dewy glowy natural like skin like almost you would love this so you're gonna have to get it um i just mix because I have a bunch of other shades in my makeup kit. If you don't know, I do bridal makeup. Um, so I have a bunch of the other shades in there. So I mix five and one. If I had to choose for myself what shade I would be, I would say like two or three, maybe two, 2.5. Um, like I said, I do like to, you know, add some more color to my face. So I'm taking five and I just take a little bit of five. And I put a lot of five on my forehead because I like my forehead to be more bronzy. I don't know why I do that, but I do. And then I'm taking one, which is fair pale. And I just kind of blend that in with the five like this. And I'm very weird. I don't put anything on my nose and I only keep the darker shade on my forehead. I don't know why I do that, but I do. Um, and I use my fingers. I use my hands for this. I blend this in. Like, oh my god, it just looks so freaking beautiful. Like, I really hope this is picking up nicely on camera because it's like the best stuff in the world. Like, I can't even like explain to you guys like how amazing this product is. Like I said, I, I don't even know how to explain it. Like it, it's like a, a highlighted tint is like basically what I would tell people. 
it, it's so weird it's so light it's so natural like it doesn't cover anything on your skin it'll just kind of like even you out it won't add any like crazy coverage or anything so this is me looking all nice and dewy and glowy and like I said I use my fingers and I don't have a napkin by me so I'm just using this little this little swab um okay then what I do, sometimes I will put a little bit of one, like a little bit, like underneath my eyes. Um, I don't do this all the time. I'm really sorry about the lighting. I was really hoping that it's going to look great, but the more I keep looking over there, I'm like, ooh, I don't know if that's looking good or not. Like, am I just in like a bad spot? I don't know. Um, but I'm just going to keep on going because you get the idea. Okay. I put a little bit of that on. Let's see if I could. I can't even come close, but this is what it looks like. <laughs> um, actually, let me scooch over a little bit this way. I feel like that's better. Okay, a little bit better. Sorry, guys. You know what it is? When I do my voiceovers and I'm like, I sit there and I like talk like this and I'm like, oh, I'm taking this eyeshadow and then if I say something wrong, I have to like go back and be like, so I'm taking this eyeshadow and then I'm like, I mess up again and then I have to say it again and it's like, it's just like not real. I don't know. I, I'm not into the voiceovers anymore. I like to like sit down, talk. I know that they take a little bit longer, but I personally like them. So there. So there you have it. Okay. For concealer, we're taking um, Honey Bloom Cosmetic Concealers in tan and light. Um, I could get away with just tan um, because for day to day makeup, I don't like to go super bright under my eyes. I like to almost match my concealer to the rest of my face. Um, I just feel like it looks more natural than being like super bright and highlighted. But I will take a little bit of light just because I'm not tan right now. So I will take a little bit in the center of my forehead as well. I'm gonna just blend this in. This is the Paw Paw um, Beauty Blender from Shop Miss A. And I have to tell you guys that it is so much better than the original like Beauty Blender. Um, if you don't have them, you need them. They're absolutely amazing. Um, like absolutely incredible. They're so soft and just absolutely amazing. Um, and honestly, I don't even really dampen them on myself. I dampen them on my, my clients. If I have time to like get up and dampen them or like if I don't forget to go up and dampen them, I will. But for day to day, I just kind of like use it dry. <laughs> so, oh my God, I have like a sparkle on me. Okay. Then I'll take the remainder and kind of go above my lip on the chin. Oh my god, I just scratched myself before. Do you see that? I'm so sensitive, especially in the winter. I don't know what it is, but like, I can literally like tap myself and I'm red. It's so strange. So weird. Okay. So I'm just blending that in. And like, ah, it's just such a beautiful finish. Okay, I really have a sparkle on me. Okay, I got it. I got it. I got it. Um... Sorry, my brows are also all over the place. I feel like I'm all over the place in this video, so I apologize again. Okay, next we're gonna set my trick to looking dewy, looking healthy, looking glowy is don't over powder. Like I will only crease under my eyes. So that's the only place that I put a setting powder under my eyes because if I don't crease anywhere else, I want to look dewy, I want to look glowy. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to take the e.l.f. Halo Glow setting powder in light pink. Sometimes I will take the, if I can find her, the number seven um, Lift and Illuminate Triple Action Translucent finishing powder and light. Sometimes I'll take this and set under the eyes, but if I want to be more like dewy glowy, I do like the Halo Glow um, by e.l.f. I just um, put this brush in. This is what brush? Craft, craft, 
a Prax brush. I've never even heard of this brand. I think I got it in like a BoxyCharm or something. Um, and it's their highlighter brush. So I like a, like a smaller brush just to set underneath the eyes. I use like literally two brushes on myself. Um, and I set my eyelid, of course, because I hate, absolutely hate seeing um, creases on people's eyes. And I know it, it's happened to me before also because sometimes it just happens if you like forget to set. I'm gonna take some of the number seven also and just really set up there. Um, but I just, I hate when like people's eye, um, <clears throat> I can see, I guess it's their concealer, um, sets and like creases on their lid. Oh God. I just think that looks so messy. And I do a little bit on my chin. That's that. Okay. We are almost done with the face. Like I put one more product on my face and that's it. That's it. So I'm going to put you guys on to the best bronzer on the market. This is the Physicians Formula um, Butter Bronzers. If you have not tried them, you need to because they are the smoothest, creamiest bronzers on the market. Personally, I feel like I, I've tried so many bronzers and like their bronzers are the ones that I reach for the most in my kit and for myself. And they smell like the beach. They are absolutely amazing. The only thing I hate about them is the packaging if you are like a makeup artist or you travel a lot the packaging is so bulky that i wish that it wouldn't be like that but it is um so i'm just taking a like a stippling brush it's just like a big brush it, this is face secrets hold on am i talking so much face secrets bronzer i mean blood i mean brush brush in the physician formula bronzer and I have the bronzer in light and I just go right on the cheeks and I go kind of messy like I don't have any like rhyme or reason for this I kind of just warm my skin up I do my nose definitely do my forehead I do the sides of my forehead like this move my hair back I'm gonna do draw see how it's like really light right there I warm that up on the chin a little bit. Like I said, I'm very fair right now, so anything to like help me out is amazing. So I'm just kind of blending. Even if you don't pick up more product, just kind of keep like blending it out. And guys. That's it for the face. That's all I do. I don't do any blush, any highlight. I do nothing more than this on a day-to-day -day basis. That's it. That is it. So we're gonna move on to the eyes, which I'm very excited for because, and I think you guys will like these eyes also. Um, Unfortunately, I don't want to touch my setup because it's going to fall down because it's like literally stacked on a bunch of things. So you may be a little bit far away for this, but it's nothing crazy that like you have to see totally close up. Um, so let's do the eyes. And by the way, this whole routine <clears throat> takes me about like 10 to 15 minutes, maybe 20 if I'm putting the lashes on like I am today. I'm doing like little individual um cluster lashes on like the outer corners other than that that's that's it i don't i'm not one of those girls that take like hours to get ready it's just like not me i like to get ready fast and i feel like this is such like a good routine it's like not heavy not a lot of coverage it's not crazy or anything so oh my god i just realized like i'm so fair up here i'm so i mean down here Oh my god <laughs> i need to self tan like really badly i think i'm going to i think i'm gonna use my my bondi sands um this weekend i'm going out for my boyfriend's birthday so i definitely need i definitely need a little bit of a, a tan okay this is a great 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 mascara this is the 
Air Volume um, Mega Mascara, and I use the waterproof version. Sorry guys, I don't know why my phone just stopped, but I'm just applying the mascara. Sorry guys, my phone keeps dying and I'm running out of storage and I literally have more storage because I pay monthly for extra storage and it's still running out. That's how many videos and photos I have on my phone. It's like ridiculous. Um, so if I keep cutting off, that's why. So I did one eye. Hey guys, so that whole rest of the video just cut out. So I'm gonna just tell you guys what I did. Um, I used these lashes from AliExpress. Um, they're like cluster lashes instead of individuals. I don't use um, the 14, I use 10 millimeters, so they're shorter. I apply like three of them on the outer corners because I like more of like that cat eye. Um, so I will just take the Kiss um, Lash Glue. Sorry, I'm like all the way over here. Also, the sun is like not cooperating. The video keeps cutting out. I just bought more storage and it's still like not recording. That's why I'm talking fast. Um, so I put this, I put a dot of it on like the container, take my tweezer and I pop three of those lashes on. And then on the inner corner, I go back in with my mascara and just like make sure it's like dark and thick in the outer, I mean in the inner corner. For lip, I use the Sephora lip liner in 28 Sinker Suede. And I just kind of overline a tiny bit with that. And then I went in with MAC Angel lipstick. Oh my God, what a good lipstick. I totally forgot about it. So good. And then I also used the, I don't know where I put it, but I used the NYX, um, I don't know where I put it guys, but I used NYX Fortune Cookie Lip Liner. It's like a nude, nothing crazy, nothing too pigmented, just to give like a little like nude wash so it's not so pinky. Um, and then as far as setting sprays go, um, I like the Morphe setting spray and I also, I actually love the Sephora makeup setting spray for like longevity. I like the Morphe for more like hydrating, making your powders look more like skin, but I like the Sephora for like longevity. So sorry all that cut out. That was like the whole point of the video. That is the final result. I'm so sorry again that the video keeps cutting in and out, um, but that's it. Um, at least you guys got to see the base. Um, really sorry about the video again. This is like all over the place, but I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys soon.